Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new video and thanks so much for tuning in. Today's video is all about the envelope budgeting method, which is a tried and tested way of budgeting for your monthly expenses and making sure that you don't outspend the monthly allowance that you set yourself for each item. It's such a straightforward system to use and I'm gonna break it down into five really easy to use steps that are gonna help you get started right away. I really hope you find this video helpful and if you do, go ahead and let me know by hitting the like button down below because that's gonna let me know which of these videos you enjoy the most, and I can then make sure that I keep creating content for you that's useful in the future. So first things first, let's have a look at what the envelope budgeting system is all about. This is a way of budgeting that divides your income into separate spending categories. So for example, you're gonna have things like groceries, you'll have travel and transport, you'll have entertainment in there, and even things like eating out too. So once you've gone through and made a list of all the different categories that you spend your monthly income on, the next step is gonna to be to grab a stack of envelopes and a pen and write on the front of each envelope every single category that you've put on your list of expenses. Once your envelopes are filled up with cash, then you're free to use that money however you choose to do so, as long as you're spending it on something that is in the right category for that envelope. But the caveat here is that you're then not allowed to refill the envelopes until you get paid the following month. So for example, you can't take money out of your groceries envelope to go and watch a movie. The goal of this budgeting method is really simple and that is to stop you from overspending by limiting the amount of money that you have available to spend. One of the major benefits to using this particular budgeting system is that because it's all based in cash, when you go out of the house, you won't need to take your credit and debit cards with you. And because of that, you'll find it a lot harder to go over budget by making spontaneous purchase decisions. And another quick tip I'll give you if you're gonna be using this budgeting method is just to turn off Apple Pay or any other app that lets you pay with your credit card through your smartphone. Now you may be thinking that a lot of your usual monthly expenses for things like water and electricity and even your gym membership are coming straight out of your bank account these days. And that would make using the envelope system kind of tricky to put into practice. So here are the five steps that I promised you earlier that are hopefully gonna to help to piece all of this together. So step one is to pay yourself first. I've spoken about this before on the channel and it is crucially important when it comes to building your longer term wealth because by paying yourself first, what you're really doing is giving yourself the best opportunity to grow and save and invest your money and turn it into something that's gonna give you even more opportunity in the future. Now, of course, there are still gonna be other bills and expenses that you've gotta pay for every single month. That's just the reality of it. And I'm not saying that those things aren't important to pay because they are. What I'm saying is that you need to place paying yourself first as the highest order of priority on your list and then pay for those expenses as a secondary item. Because by doing that, what you're really doing is giving yourself a pot of money that is gonna provide opportunities for you in the future. Oftentimes, a lot of people follow a totally different approach to this, where they will say that priority number one on their budget list is to pay for their rent and utilities and other mandatory expenses. And then secondary to that, they'll go out and spend money throughout the month on whatever it is that they choose to do. And a lot of the time, they don't set a budget for those types of things. And then come the end of the month, if there's a balance left, that's what gets saved away at the end of the month. But the problem with taking that approach is that you're never gonna have a consistent amount of savings that you're investing every single month. And you're gonna find it a lot harder and it's gonna take a lot longer to reach your financial goals if that's the approach that you're taking. Okay, so you've received your income, you've paid yourself first, and now step two is to make any debt repayments that you need to make. What I always recommend when it comes to paying off your debts is to make sure that you're at least paying the minimums on every single debt that you've got, if you've got more than one, and then tackle the highest interest rate debt first by paying a larger sum of money into that debt and get that one paid down as quickly as you can because that's the one that's costing you the most money. Then all you need to do is do the exact same thing with the next highest interest rate debt and keep on going until you've got nothing left at the end. I've got another video over on the channel which goes into a lot more detail about how to pay off your debts quickly. So I'm gonna pop a link to that one up in the corner of your screen for you and I'll also include a link down in the description as well. So once you've made your monthly debt payments, step three is then to take away any mandatory monthly costs that you have. These are the types of things that I touched on a little bit earlier. So we're talking about rent, utilities like electricity and water, your phone bill, Wi-Fi, gym memberships, anything that has a direct debit to come out of your account every single month. So very simply, just make a list of all of those expenses and how much they cost you every single month, add up the total, and then leave that amount of money in your bank account to enable those direct debits to be taken straight out of your account and pay for those expenses. So by this point, you'd have paid yourself first, you'd have paid off any debts that you had to pay, 
and you'd have left an amount of money in your bank account that was enough to cover any bills that you have coming out of your account every single month. And so step four in the process now is to take whatever money you've got left and divide it up into your envelopes. Now, of course, everyone's gonna have different categories of things that they choose to spend their money on every single month. But some of the more common ones that you might wanna have an envelope for are things like entertainment. So if you like going out to the cinema or going bowling, um, you could have one for groceries because obviously everybody needs to fill their fridge up every month. You could have one for things like travel and transport if you need to get around by train or by bus or even for petrol. Uh, you could have another one for dining out or getting takeaways if that's something you like to do. And you could even have one for discretionary spending. So if you wanna go out and make the odd impulse purchase here and there, it can come from that envelope. And then when your envelopes are full, you can just spend that money however you choose to throughout the month. And that leads us onto step number five, which is to not refill the envelopes when they run out of money. It goes without saying, but this is absolutely crucial to making sure that the whole thing works. So once you've spent the money out of an envelope, don't take money out of another envelope to pay for something different and don't refill those envelopes. That's the only way that this system is really gonna work for you. So there you have it. I really hope you learned something new here and do feel free to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought of today's video. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It only takes a couple of seconds to do, but it really helps me out and it helps the channel to grow and reach more people too. I post a brand new video right here on the channel every single week. So if you wanna be among the first to be notified when a new video drops, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also turn those notifications on by clicking the bell icon down below and you're then gonna be notified as and when new videos are released. As always, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you right back here next time.